Good evening everybody. It's Avril from Mickey Tech Yoga here. Lovely to see you all. Now I know it's a little bit odd being on a Thursday evening, but yesterday evening there was an impromptu change because Jude Lennon, who co-authored my book, was reading our book. She was reading Mitch Titch all around the world yesterday evening. So that's why I thought I would postpone until this evening. Now I've got a real treat for you because Natalie, the author of this book, got in touch and asked if I would like to look at some of their books and read some. Well, she posted them out to me and oh, how thrilled I am that she did. This first book in the Monstrous Me collection is absolutely brilliant. And there's a real surprise for you when we get to the middle of the book. So, oh, there's Gillian. Hi Jacob, hi Ruben. I hope you've all had a wonderful holiday. Loved seeing all your pictures. They were brilliant. And Ruben, your meditation picture was fabulous. Well done you. So, this little book I've got here, you see, Natalie sent me a beautiful letter and it was saying, Dear Avril, thank you so much for having a look at my latest books. My Mummy is a Monster is a truly unique is truly unique and uses a dual narrative. Now that's a bit difficult, isn't it? A dual narrative? Well, when we get part way through this book, you will see why and I will explain what that is, okay? So, what does she say? Oh, brilliant, yes. She's doing really well with all of her new books and she's really thrilled that I'm going to read it to you this evening. So there's my beautiful letter from Natalie. Okay, do we think we're ready then? This is so good and a really, it's a really funny book, but also makes you think, okay? So it's for all of us parents, but all of the children there as well, okay? To have a really good think about, especially with us all going back to school and routine next week. Are you ready? Here we go for our wonderful new book from the Monstrous Me collection. This is My Mummy is a Monster oh, by Natalie Reeves Billing. And it was illustrated by Lisa Williams. And you all know what that means by now, don't you? Yes, that's right, the picture's inside. Okay, are we ready? Then here we go. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Here we are. My mummy's a monster that no one can see. And nobody knows but my brother and me. I told Dad, but he said he already knew. So now we think maybe our dad is one too. No one else knows because monsters can hide. And lots of mums have monsters hiding inside. Would you like to know how children can tell if their mums and dads are monsters as well? Now look at this pictures aren't they wonderful so there she is with a book of monsters okay here's mummy and here's daddy who looks like he's got a monster tail monster hands and horns coming out of his head <laughs> are we ready then here we go everybody just after breakfast my monster mum strikes she brushes my hair with a club made of spikes. She laughs as she finds all my tangles and tats and yanks it up high into super tight plaits. Deary me. At a quarter to nine, 
when she's in a big rush, she puts a disgusting green paste on my brush. It tastes of old feet. I spit out in the sink. Then she gives me some flaming hot liquid to drink. Are you recognising some of these scenes from when you're getting ready to go to school? <laughs> I can recognise some. She makes me walk thousands of miles after school. Won't carry my bags for she's mean and she's cruel. She won't drive us there, though it's so far away. And when we arrive, there's no time left to play. Let me see. Do you carry your backpack to school, I wonder? Oh, the night's closing in, but there's no sign of stopping. Now Monster Mum's making us go monster shopping. She tosses us into a hard iron cage. We try to help out, but she gets in a rage. Uh-oh. Shopping time is a bit stressful, isn't it? I think so. <gasps> Later with bodies so muddy and brown, the monster throws us in a cauldron to drown. She boils us and scrubs at our skin till it red and squirts lots of bubbling goo on my head. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> I don't think those children like having their hair shampooed, do they? But then, when she puts me to bed of a night, wraps me up snugly and turns down my light and kisses my nose as I lay in a ball. Then I wonder if my mum's a monster at all. She doesn't look very monster-like, does she? No, just a regular beautiful mummy. So, I told you those difficult words, that dual narrative. You see, if I flip this book upside down, look what's on the other side. My children are monsters. Are you ready? Mm, I think mummies and daddies, nanas and pop granddads will have a laugh this side of the book. Are you ready? My children are monsters, but no one can see and nobody knows except Daddy and me. I told Gran, but she said she already knew. So now we think Granny must see monsters too. No one else knows because monsters can hide. Even sweet children have monsters inside. There are lots of ways worried parents can tell if their little angels are monsters as well. You see? So now, the story's turned around, hasn't it? Hmm, Mummy is the one looking at the monster book. And here are the children at the table. So are we ready? <laughs> Just after breakfast, my monster kids strike. See, brushing their fur is not something they like. They scream and they shout like a Halloween ghost and tell me it's Granny who they love the most. Oh, poor mummy. Don't, definitely don't like having their hair brushed, do they? When I'm late for work and in such a big rush, they shriek at the toothpaste I put on their brush. The same one they use every day at the sink, but this morning my monsters kick up a stink. Oh no. I bet you they're in a rush for school too. I'm tired, but we go to the park after school. They won't carry their bags and they tell me I'm cruel. Walking like zombies, they moan the whole way. So when we get there, there's no time to play. Oh, poor mummy, she was trying to do something nice, wasn't she? Oh, looks like they're moaning a bit though. I'm weak and I'm hungry, but no time to stop. There are so many things the kids need from the shop. 
safe in the trolley my monster kids sit. Then they take out my veg and they pound me with it. Oh dearie me, that's not very nice at all. And look, it looks like this poor gentleman over here also has a monster. Dearie me, can we see the two sides to the tail here? I think we can. <laughs> my monsters are dirty, I fill up the tub. I soak them in lovely warm water and scrub. But what do I hear? Monster shrieks, monster cries, because water has gone in their big monstrous eyes. Oh dear. Definitely don't like that shampoo, do they? But then, when I put to them to bed of a night, wrap them up snugly and turn down their light, and kiss them as they lay curled up in a ball. I wonder if my kids are monsters at all. Oh, look, there they are, all snuggled up, ready for bed. And we're back to the middle again, where it tells us to turn around the book. Back to My Mummy is a Monster. So what did you think about that book? Wasn't it fabulous? It's the first one in the Monstrous Me collection, so I'll be sure to be asking Natalie for some more of those. They're brilliant, aren't they? And I hope that all of you at home can see there's always two sides to a story, you know. Oh yes, and didn't it also show us that we need to be a little bit patient with each other because I think both sides of the story were probably right some of the time, don't you? I remember bringing my girls home from school and they hated carrying their bags and poor mummy here was like a pack horse with all the bags. Yeah, but you see, mummy was only trying to do something nice and take them to the park, wasn't she? So... Brilliant story. Big, big. Shall we give Natalie a big thumbs up? Yes, brilliant story. Well received. And look, oh, what a brilliant story. Their daily routine is very <laughs> relatable. Well done. Brilliant. So yes, we all love it. Big thumbs up from everybody. Well done, Natalie. And the good thing is, Friday tomorrow, I'll be back for our usual Friday evening slot. So have a lovely day tomorrow. Remember, we're all getting back to our routine, aren't we? So let's see what useful story I can pick up for tomorrow night, okay? As usual, everybody, love you all to bits. Night-night for now, and I'll see you all soon.